Right now, this minute, innocent people like you and me, children like mine and yours, are victims of war crimes and crimes against humanity in Gaza. We've had a ceasefire in Gaza, a tentative ceasefire, and we now have a window of opportunity to get access to over 200,000 civilians who have no access to facilities. Their homes have been pulverized, they have no running water, they have no proper access to medicine, to fuel, to foods. They are desperately, urgently in need of these things and it is essential that the international aid agencies get access to the Gazan people now. The humanitarian crisis is not the result of a natural disaster. Rather, it is entirely man-made as a result of increasingly stringent Israeli blockades and international sanctions. I'm part of the growing number of people who want the British government to end the blockade on Gaza. Over 80% of the population of Gaza now depends on international aid. That compares with 10% a decade ago. The blockade guarantees bloodshed and conflict. Israel has behaved recklessly and there's been the shocking destruction of human life in Gaza. Likewise, Hamas's indiscriminate shelling of southern Israel is equally unacceptable. The targeting in particular of civilians, for whatever reason, um, let's be absolutely clear about this, this is a war crime. Whatever you think about the rights and wrongs of this situation, the women and children and civilians of Gaza didn't fire those rockets. I would like the UK government to take the lead in ensuring the establishment of an independent and impartial inquiry into the abuses of human rights in Gaza. I want the UK government to be ready to initiate criminal investigations and carry out prosecutions in their own courts if the evidence warrants it. Those within Hamas and the Israeli government must be held responsible, even if it means arresting senior people. In a situation like this, there are no victories. There are only victims. What's important is that we try to find a path to peace. You can take action now. Go to www.amnesty.org.uk forward slash Gaza crisis.